We want to talk about a potential breakthrough in brain implants now. So a team at the University of California, San Francisco, has made an implant that is intuitive. So it's been trialled on a handful of people who have what was considered to be untreatable chronic pain. And it's so sweet because one of the participants has even been able to hug his wife for the first time in years. Wow. When you get medical breakthroughs like mm. this that have a real human impact, it is make, your, yeah, yeah, brings yeah. it home, doesn't it? So that use of the word intuitive, we're hinting at artificial intelligence, machine learning, that kind of thing here, are we? Yeah, so this is machine learning that could identify and distinguish between the electrical activity that occurred when they were in high levels of pain compared with low or no pain, because it's not always a constant mm. chronic pain, it can ebb and flow. The problem has been that traditional, we call it DBS, which involves stimulating the brain using tiny electrodes, has very inconsistent results, because it tends to be a constant stimulation. And also the same brain area are targeted it's like a one-size-fits-all approach and we know from evidence previous research that pain arises from different circuits in different people. Is it being looked at for other things as well? Dementia, depression, addiction? Yes and, and depression is sort of particularly emotive because we did a story last week about a man who said he got his joy back after oh. being severely unwell with depression I mean, for, for decades. That's another story that really got me. Yeah it, it was really lovely and, and also it's being tried for obesity but it's you know that's much more of a trial kind of explorative stage.